<clears throat> oh, my throat's a bit wiggly woolly. Um, right, let's be quick. I've sketched it. I've sketched my image using a grid on this um, photo paper film, and later on I'll transfer it onto the stretched paper. But first off, today I thought we'll um, have a little bit of fun with the background first before I sketch it. So three colours, red, yellow and blue basically, the three main usual primary colours. I want to spray these a bit dry. Be all right. Next stage, get a big brush. There's a big one. Nail brush. Should spray the paper, I suppose. Hmm, why not? And then spray the paper. Give it a good. It's, it does say lens cleaning spray, but I've used it. Off. <laughs> it's got water in it. Oops, eh? I have done it with the um, lens cleaning spray before. Get a, get a brush and just like some colour here and there. Yellow is nice. Yellow, blue, oh, stronger blue, I think. Blue and red. Get some red on it. I'm not <clears throat> messing about. Doesn't matter where it goes. So I'm going to spread it around anyway. We can click it. Some more fricky paint, a bit of blue. We're doing it. And it's a bit of orange here. Why not? And some more yellow. I always don't know why. I seem to have not have enough blue on these things. Anyway, that'll do. Spray a bit more. I want, want it to go wash. I think today I'll just um I can manipulate it by turning the paper. It's not as watery as I thought. I also got my blow tube here as well. That's painful. Blow a few bits around. It's not very um moving much, but let's get a bit of brush off. Red. I just don't think there's enough water on it. Paper's soaked it right up. There's no rules to this. Just whatever you feel like. So. Oh, credit card. <clears throat> bit of tissue. Think straight lines are good. Bit of bubble wrap and the me. Works really well, bubble wrap. You can put some um bubbles. Oh, this sounds all nice. Mm -hmm. a bit. Mm -hmm. Snap it on. Just it over it. Ta da! Put some nice, funny shapes on it. Ugh, just on the handle. Interesting. No. 
Oh, that's dry off there. Well, I could have had some bubbly bits on it. Dry I've got a few there that are dry. It's been it, right? What happens when it dries off? Hold it up at different angles. Maybe let it sit there at that angle, see what happens. <clears throat> and then when it's dry, I'll plant my, my elephants on top. And I'll see if the other plant. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, quite a few. It was really quite good. All right, so you'll be an expert now. There we go. <laughs> There's one of them. There's a picture of... Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so lovely. You're on the wall somewhere. Does it look okay there? <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. Very well, good. Yeah. That was, yeah, it's one of them. We do sort of one a day, really. Mm. So five oh. days. Gosh, that's quite hard then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's quite intensive. You're there from nine till five. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Take microwave oh. lunches. But it's oh, fun. Wow. We know oh, the you're... people. It's yeah. like when we used to come to the church, you get to know people. Mm. So oh, it's the just... same people go each year. Mm. So it's quite nice. Oh, How are you it? anyway? Yeah, fine. Fine. Your husband thank okay? You. I can't think of his name though. Peter, yeah, Peter, he's not yeah. too Peter yeah, is. he's so yeah, we're going through a good spell at the moment, thank oh. you. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you asked me your name. Chris he did a painting. So I've sent him off to make a cup of tea. With her one arm. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just an excuse to have a holiday with her sister. Well, is she still there, do you think? She's um, gone to Pool Hospital this morning, I think, for a, um, x ray and put on a proper. Yeah. Procedure. Oh, gosh, yeah. it's taken a long time to do well, that. Well, they have to wait for the swelling to go down, don't they? Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. Oh, let's hope it's all right then. Yeah, she yeah. said the old plaster was loose. So um, I imagine that it's gone mm. down now. They should be able to do it. Oh, yeah. well, she'll feel better, won't she? Once yeah, hopefully. Fun. The trouble is you go into shock, don't you, as much as anything. Yeah, yeah. She was a bit shocked that they phoned up and said, we've got an elderly patient that's fallen over. <laughs> oh, gosh. A bit oh. about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose, any, what, how old is she now? I, suppose, I don't know. No, what I do they call it. elderly? <laughs> yeah, 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 creeping on. This, well, there's a seven in it now. Oh, well, I'm well in the elderly, so I am. <laughs> oh, so am I. Don't worry about it. Well, I feel it. I don't know about... That's, oh. nice. That's a really nice picture. I did cheat, though. I did trace it because I haven't oh, got time. You? Yeah, I am naughty. Ah. But the hair, I had... Well, I mucked it up a bit. Um, I put the wrong colours on to start with. And then I had some acrylic little acrylic paint that I put on so I don't know if you can see it. Ah, very good. Oh, that's, that's nice. <laughs> it's a Christmas yeah. tree. That's a yeah. good one. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. So a bit of acrylic on top, eh? Well, no, it wasn't. I don't know. They're like a wall. No, it's not acrylic. They're in little pans. Like, I don't know. They were only ever so cheap. Oh, right. They're like watercolours, but they've got a bit of um, shine on them. Oh, right. Well, that works. So when you hold it at a certain light, you can see, see the shiny bits. Yeah, that, that really worked. Just something different. Yeah. <laughs> Very trying, impressive. Trying to find my way. You're doing very well. Wow, well, I just a drawing lets me down. I've got to get to grips. With it. I'm going to draw the elephants this week. I'm not going to trace those. <laughs> <laughs> I keep I complaining. Just, yeah, I keep complaining because Gordon traces, and I, I know he does sometimes. But um, 
I don't know. They they seem to say that he, some of the most famous artists do trace. Well, yeah. Uh, so, you're allowed. I mean, especially on the face, you've got yeah. to get it right. But you've still got to paint it. You can still muck it up, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think with faces and pets and things, yeah, it's a good idea to trace. But um, I don't know. I just that my teacher told me we mustn't. So that's oh, I know, scary. I know, I, I do feel I'm cheating, but I just wanted, <laughs> um, <laughs> just wanted to try and get the painting half decent. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks really nice. Oh, thank you. Whose was the second one? Whose is that? That's Chrissy with her wonky hand. Oh, really? That's yeah. off, no, that's using her off, her off, her other hand. So that's the left-handed. That's good though, isn't it? She painted oh. it with them. She's Is used crayon? Um, pencils, yeah. Pencils, uh, right, yeah. It's very good. Well, yes. I don't know. Um, we all stick with one of them. But I often say I'm pa I paint, I often catch myself off, be painting with one with my left hand, which is the normal. But halfway through a painting, I'll suddenly be using my right hand for yeah because I can't because that bit's wet or the summit in the way and I I just use the other one so oh that's good then that's clever <laughs> yeah I wish I not could. tried that yet no, no I haven't <laughs> perhaps we ought to Carol perhaps it yeah it might come out <laughs> better <might it? laughs> oh yours yes. are all right you do no, well you <laughs> oh, I don't the, know. if you we get the no... um the main bit down then for washes and that, it doesn't matter, does it? And sometimes, no. like you say, it works better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, mm. gives you a more random feel because you can't well, control it so much. But then again, way. if you do take the lead, what I say, and don't paint with your wrist, paint with your arm. Yeah. Mm. Use the brush. If you do, it's going to go all floppy and wiggly wobbly. So you should always paint. <laughs> move your arm in a nice mm. uniform oh. way that's oh. the key to it yeah so if you do it with one arm it's just as the opposite doing it in the other you so you're not mm. it, when you involve the wrist with its 500 million bones and stuff in it <laughs> yeah you, you might as well it's almost like you've got a ball head thing in it and you're going like oh, you're trying to hold it it's <laughs> unloose but if you use your wrist solid if you lock it and use the brush mm. you get more control <coughs> well that's my th oh what's that that's the christmas tree cluster at the top of my garden i don't mm. know if that's crept in there it don't look like a christmas tree well it does a little bit <laughs> excuse me just gonna go and see the page i won't be a minute you get it the christmas trees at the top sort of thing it does look oh, like yeah, yeah. i can get it <laughs> i'll get it to look like one eventually <laughs> come into a christmas card near you ah right blimey look what? Than that, well what uh where is it I've started wrapping presents, I've got to admit. Have you? Yeah. Wow. Well, it spreads the load on my legs anyway, and also on cost, and the fact we've got to get it up to Western Supermare anyway. So it's I all right if they're, if they're presents or gifts that um, it doesn't matter if they expire the sales thing after 30 days. Yeah. If it's like you know more things that that people aren't going to want to send back or they break and you have to return <clears throat> it's yeah fine. no it's um no it's stuff they can't return i i don't keep the receipts no it's small presents nothing big no that's a bit like us well there's too many of them <laughs> yeah, no. thank you. right yeah okay thank you today <laughs> Today, what I do is I, I use the, um, I draw a grid and use that. Yeah. yeah. Especially on things like this. I mean, for goodness sake, 
Mm. It's so complicated. Unless you want to paint so loose that you have to sort of pick your way out of what it is. You've got to start somewhere. Yeah, a grid's a good idea. Well, that's not cheating, is it, doing a grid? No, 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 that's still drawing, isn't it? Well, I, I, I find it quite rewarding, and it's useful for me. Like, I, I've only just started doing it seriously for the last few weeks, but I can keep all the... Because mm. I use that typo paper. Uh, I was going to call it tracing paper, but it's not. It's detail paper. Oh, right. I, I sketch on that. And then I trace that. Oh, right. Trace down between that. And the beauty of that is, I'll show you in a minute. You can move yeah. your, you can compose your picture wherever you want. Oh, so that's not, that's not cheating then. <laughs> no. If you've drawn it first, you can trace it if it's okay. Right. <laughs> There's my drawing. Yeah, okay. But these, we're not doing that one because oh, there's no. The one, the the ones I do, uh, the pictures that we're doing at the moment are from Paint My Picture mm. website because there are there's no copyright issues on that. But some of the ones we've done over the over the time, it you know they're all right until you if you want to sell them or you put them online and things like that. Eventually, somebody's going to get a bit peeved and. I think Chrissy last week said, can we do um, this guy? It was Shay Guevara. And I thought, mm, oh. yeah. <laughs> but to get a license for an art group to, to use that image is 12 quid. Shay Guevara. Oh. Mm. Ah. Um. The old, um, I was nearly said Mexican, Cuban. Yeah, I know who you um, mean. Yeah, I didn't hear what you said. That was all. Yeah, no, that's a bit political. Bit cult mm. hero. Yeah, you can paint Wolfie from the um, television uh, thing. He he was a similar look. Yeah, but mm. some of these people they're not they they cult heroes and that, but they're not not they're not as nice people as they make out. No, 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 no. Anyway, I'm I, I'm not in the mood to go down that route. No, no, don't do that. So, yeah, <laughs> that's my sketch. I yeah, sketched I it. <laughs> what yeah. I did find, and there's my, I sketch it on the <laughs> grid first, on the yeah. paper first. Then I, you can see, because it's free, I can move that around wherever I want. Yeah. Put any, any item on the picture. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Well, it is for future because I can reproduce that image really quickly. Yeah. But one thing I will one that's a famous artist sort of view. Maybe I'll get well. Well, I'm thinking along, but that's only like two colours, isn't it? Yeah. So think about that. I I don't know what's going to happen there. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> I think we're, we're we could be a Joyce might turn up in a little while. Oh, that's could good. be on for an early early yeah. lunch. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. So if I can get the down, I've got to turn my mic on. I put my um. Hair dryer out this week just in case I got a, just in case I need it. We're recording, recording okay. in progress. Okay, okay, then. <laughs> no, that's me being stupid. Oh. Just making sure that I am. I think that's part of the. Uh, the old age thing, and you have to keep saying things and <laughs> writing them down to make sure you remember them. Yeah, we're all getting there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm catching you up. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I yeah. go out shopping with the list sometimes? I still forget what I've put. Could I come home with something <laughs> I've put on there? No good if you forget the list as well. 
No, oh no, I got the list, but I forget. And I, I forget what's on. I've missed something that's on the list. <laughs> oh, dear. oh. So, yeah, I've just used, all I do now is um, or I'm doing now is using the this stuff typo yeah. paper, and I've got an A5 print out color one, and I just use this. Yeah, it's handy having it on a big printout like that. No, it's it's just A5. Yeah, no, we haven't we haven't got a printer at the moment. All oh, right, it's broke. You don't need a. Hang on, it's dead actually. It's dead, Jim. Isn't it? There you go. There's the A4 printout. Mm. I don't like writing on. I could use this, but it's good nice paper. I like keep that as a reference. It's yeah. glossy, <clears throat> glossy photo paper, so I'll keep that one. Right. Well. And print out um, any old one on the on a bit of A4 copy yeah. paper. It was even printed on the back. That's <laughs> then I can sit there and scale it to the watercolor sheet I've got. One thing I did notice with this picture was um, I started off. I thought, oh, I'll just put the the mummy and baby elephant in. Yeah. And then I thought, mm, well, it could it could get away with it. Then I put these two in, the back ones, and just give it some distance. And I thought, well, you can't not put the bull elephant in because he's the one in charge of every, the whole group. Mm. Sort of. Uh, so in the end, the whole lot went in. But whether I'd do that again, I don't know. I think. Is it the same? Is it the same concept of flowers? Like you never put four flowers; you have to have five of a color. You never put two. Yeah, I've heard three. that. Yeah, okay. if you have two, you've got to put three. I just three, if, three is balanced, isn't it? Yeah. So that I just wondered if that's the same concept when you're doing something like that. Well, no. <clears throat> was funny about prints, though, is the. You have to make up your mind at some point which one you're going to use as a colour reference because the colours, mm. you know, I get grey donkeys there and browny, grey, reddy, bluey, all colours. Mm. So there's a, a doodah. I did do a little video of creating the, the splish splash blush, <laughs> but it was just using red blue and yellow loads of water splash it over and see what happens just thought i'd try it's and, fun isn't it it's quite fun to do that sort of background yeah mm. i think it, it it sort of um it sets the scene and it doesn't stop you from putting a more concentrated defined one in up late at some point as well mm. But I, I'm still using this is my um I hope to put a trademark on it really. How to save your your paint by cutting the tubes up with the lid on, split them open, mm -hmm. leave the lid on, and then you can put it in your little doodah, open it up and get all the bit out of the top. Look at all that paint I would have thrown away. Mm -hmm. And somewhere over here, oh, there it is. I've even got the, <laughs> the bit I cut off as well. <laughs> There's loads. Of, mm, don't touch it. You get covered in it. What um, colour is that then? That's really bright. This colour is um, <laughs> it's a Terry Harrison sunlit gold oh. yellow That's that I cool. haven't used much because it's so <laughs> bright. It's a sort of a mustardy mm. yellow, isn't it? It's it's quite strong. I'm just going to put my paint board up. Yeah. There we go. I'm just going to get some colours. I'm just going to have a bit. I was going to have a bit. Well, I am going to have a bit of fun. Um. Yeah, I've got the. 
cobalt turquoise blue. But if you watch all the most artists, they usually start with the primary colors. So on that score, red, yellow, and blue, isn't it? They're always, it's always a good basis to start. Because from those three colors, you can get most of what you want. Right, I'm gonna, I can zoom in a bit, I think. Hang on, is it this one? Yeah. <laughs> No, one, two, three, four. I think that's as high as it goes. Um, clean water. I'm going to pick an elephant. An elephant and see what happens. I'll stand up for this as well. Um, I suppose usual thing, isn't it, is to work from the back and work your way forwards. Actually, I'll do a couple at a time. Oh, I'm like a coiled spring here. <laughs> Anything can happen. Um, well, it's, it's, it's great painting with clean water because it's the start off. You can't really do... Well, it's going to say you can't do any damage to the overall picture. But I don't know. Who knows? It's that. It's, I just wanted to have a bit of fun, really. One thing I have done. Yeah, that, there is a gap now. Um, so I put a little bit of masking fluid where the trunks are. There's tusks, oh. not trunks, tusks. So, what was I doing yesterday? Oh, the other colour I was going to do, <laughs> just for fun, is set a green. This is hookers and viridian green in that palette, all doodad together. So, I've got one dirty bucket of water and one clean one. So. What colour is an elephant? Green? Yeah. Why not? But green plus light red or pink. Should go grey, shouldn't it? Should go an interesting colour. Yeah. And it is. That was my thought. And the thinking about it as well is that it's a, a sort of a heads up for when you paint foliage because if you put a light red or a pinky color in foliage it does work it gives it gives it a nice and what i'm looking for inspiration <laughs> well this is the big daddy so I just want it to just look for some dark areas and add the, the blue to it turquoise Let's see if I can find some shadowy bits this leg is but my water's gone right down there dab it off on a tissue tissue bit of towel a bit more of this i've contaminated my blue with okay. green off the brush but hey ho persevere i'm just Get a bit of a neutral. That's one heck of a phone ring. <laughs> Air dropping. Who wouldn't give me a picture of that banjo thing? 
Maybe it's not going to be an early lunch. <laughs> no, it's not as easy as you think. That looks nice. Well, you're only setting the scene, aren't we? The alternative is to mix some of the blue with the light red. So I'll do it both ways. And then you can drop in a nice neutral tone. What, 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 I think the object of the exercise at this point is to look for mid-tones, you know, mid-tonal values in the picture and drop in, drop them in. And then later you can come back with some darker, richer tones. I mean, ordinarily, I think I would, if I sat down quiet doing it, I'd more than likely paint one elephant at a time. But that's a temptation, isn't it, to do that? Well, that's a normal way you do it, but I'd rather have a bit of fun. Only problem with this, doing it like this is, well, it's something to be aware of. The fact that your pencil lines are all going to disappear. Chrissy's going, yeah, that teach you. <laughs> like when you paint acrylics and you, all your best, all the work that you do to start off with goes out the window because the, Acrylic paint just paints straight over the line, the the pencil lines. So to counteract that, you paint over the pencil lines with a darkish, a neutral colour to start with, and gradually build up the, the picture. I don't know where I where I learn all this stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get a little bit more blue in there. A bit more neutral. See if I can drop a few more hints of, oh, I think I've missed his leg off. Lift it up. Her. It's not him. I don't think it is. Ah, there's a bit there. I think I'll lift that off actually. So hold the tissue in my hand it might help. It's not his um Trunk goes across a bit there. Set the scene. He's faded out nice. No colours coming to a degree. So at this point, everybody goes off for a cup of tea. <laughs> waits for it all to dry back. Dry out. But me? No. <laughs> I'm gonna paint I'm gonna paint a baby a baby elephant. Blocking in, isn't it? That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna use my got a pointy brush here somewhere. I really ought to tidy this up. But what happens if you tidy up? 
You can't, can't find them. nothing. <laughs> well, that's me. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, I know. Yeah. Actually, maybe a flat brush would be nicer. I've got tissue in my hand. I'm just going to lift off anywhere I can sense some highlights. If I can see any. It's always a whinge, and you put paint on and then spend 10 minutes taking it off again. <laughs> There's no logic to it. Well, really. We bought some Two Rivers paper when we were up in Somerset. I've gone off of it. Have you? Yeah. I'm going to try it. I've got. Well, I'm going. I was thinking, I was doing some research um, the other day, an old, um, what's his name, Charlie Evans, he uses Langton. Well, I used to use that years ago. Uses what? Langton. Oh, yeah, yeah. De La Rowney, Langton yeah. paper. I used to use it years ago, and I, and I was thinking, well, it's um, November, is the month that I order, I don't know, a load of paper. All oh, right. Because I, I think I got a. I'm I'm one of those wealthy pensioners, and there's an annuity that that comes in a, in early November, oh, late yeah. yeah October, and it's about three four hundred quid. Uh, uh. So I utilize. I don't spend it on oh, anything specific but i always it keeps me i buy a year's worth of paper with it yeah. you're, well you're reinvesting it really aren't you so you can sell well yeah i just figure i need i'm going to need 10 sheets of full size paper yeah which i can cut into quarters over the year which keeps me going really so yeah that's my plan is to do that well, I've done it for the last few years, actually. Yeah, we went to um, watch it, and this Two Rivers is from the original mill. Yeah, that's right. So I think that makes the difference. Yeah. Hopefully, anyway, I haven't tried it yet, but... Um, it's good stuff. I thought the, the paper from the original mill is better. Well, it's, it's supposed to be double-sized. Yeah. Well, it's double-sized. It's internally sized. Yeah. Which means you can use both sides of the paper. Yeah, exactly. Now, I was thinking of you dabbing the colour out. You can get the colour out of um, this paper, can't you? There's two rivers. A lot of the cheaper ones, once you put the colour on, you can't get it back out. Yeah, this is um, Arches. Oh, right. Yeah, I was using Which that. is... Well, yeah, it's... I think my jury's out on that. Yeah. <laughs> So, Arch is, is internally sized. That's it. Two well, rivers isn't. Two rivers is sized on both sides. But arches is internally sized, I think. Um, so the surface of the paper is blotting paper. Yeah. It's sized in size, inside so it doesn't go whoosh spreads. Yeah. But the problem is, like you just said, trying to get it out. Yeah. It's just it's just an absolute nightmare. Yeah. You can't lift it out. I, you can't, I can't do it on this stuff. That's why I bought those um, uh, chalkboard markers. Because I can use them to put highlights in <laughs> instead. They're really strong. Bright white. I'm probably going to need them on here anyway at some point. I think I'm just going to make a blend of. I did have a sneaky plan at some point with these elephants. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the um for a couple to dry off really. Just drop in some darker bits where 
These are now damp, it stays. There's a little smidgen at the bottom of his nose. Pop in a little bit of blue. So I've not changed the colours. I'm just, all I'm doing on here, on my palette, is trying to avoid the, the blob of green there, which I think I'll just use a bit of tissue. Just soak away. You can see where I'm at an angle. Everything's running down. A bit too much, really. Just lift a bit off. Right, come on, Mama, your turn. <laughs> Clean. Joyce is celebrating today. Mm. She managed That's to get a doctor's appointment at the surgery. So, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, that is a highlight of the year. I, she said she'd probably be. She'll try and come in when she's finished, you know, but she managed to get a, a doc, an appointment at the actual surgery. Gosh. So I, like I said to her, that's as rare as a pink banana, you know, <laughs> you got to go to that. Jordan. Sounds a bit cynical, but I, I mean it in the best possible way. I sent this. Oh, it's tied up with Eddie's sunrise as well. Let's see when it burns. See what I've said to her. And... Uh, so she might pop in. Oh, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, well, there's there's no um, restriction on the the Zoom meeting anyway. No. So she should be all right. Hope she's okay. I'm trying to get an appointment just for my results of the scan. And it's at least six weeks just for mm. results. Mm. And that's only on the phone. Yeah, <laughs> Melanie's got a video consultant see oh, right. end of the month they're doing that now oh, nhs video video link yeah well they've changed our receptionist you can't even talk to the receptionist now what the doctor's surgery yeah but you talk to them but you can't make an appointment oh. they refer you and that takes three days then they phone you up and that takes another three days do you have to fill in a little form online no, you I've your... already done that, I expect. In oh. the... But, um, yeah, you, it's just, if you phone up, it's just a pre-recorded um, mm. talk now. You can't even talk to anybody. They say, we will phone you back when your number is at the top of the list. Oh, and they don't even tell you how far down the list you are. It's just bad, isn't it? Yeah. Now. yeah. Gone mad. We have to fill in a little form online. Yeah. And then they do you in, in how important it is. Somebody will get back oh, yes, to you. Yeah, that's true. So somebody's... A oh. triage system, isn't it, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I've tried phoning the doctors and but you go through it all and they say, oh, you're in a queue. Yeah. And then the next minute they say, oh, we're full up and it all goes off. So you still yeah. can't. It's so frustrating. It's awful, isn't it? Really awful. Mm. Not how it used to be. Well, the doctor referred me to the hospital because my voice keeps going. That was back in April. Yeah. Anyway, they rung me up yesterday. So I've got to go Sunday morning. Really? Yeah. So they must be doing extra clinics to get through. Because when I phoned up the receptionist before, she said, oh, there's over a year's waiting list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was referred to respiratory, but that was nine months ago hadn't heard a sound oh. <coughs> well, i oh, hope you gosh. get in carol yeah oh, it's a phone call i'll just take this quickly Let me hello they're looking really good dave all i'm doing at the moment is looking i've mixed up a bit of grey yeah well a blue and it's neutral tone really blue and like the cobalt turquoise and some of that like red it always yeah. gives you um uh a neutral tint yeah. tone that you can 
use as like I said earlier, I'm just discovering um mid tone areas. Yeah. That will dry into the well, my theory is. is while it's still damp. While it's still damp. Yeah. And it's a it's a you look at it and you think, oh no, that doesn't look too difficult, but it it's harder than you think because you've got to make so many decisions yeah. as you're painting it, deciding right that's a that's a shadowy area, yeah. that that's a light area, yeah, and gradually build it up. That's where we were talking about just now about the um, being able to lift out the light bits. <laughs> does help yeah. if you've got a paper you can lift out of. Absolutely. But anyway, getting back to that, one, <laughs> my plan for this season or this year, the following next year, is I'm not going to buy two rivers. I'm just going to buy, I'm going to buy some Langton paper. Yeah. Try that. Because that, that is double-sided as well. So chances are it's, it? it could well be two rivers under a different name. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Well. I don't, I don't know. It's Dale oh, Rowney. Yeah, so meeting the chap who actually runs it, he's a an old fashioned bloke. I can't see he would market it under different names, unless it's the other factory that he's got, or whatever you call it. I suppose it's a factory, isn't it? Really. Um, Neil. Two branches now, aren't they? I think his son is doing it. His son might be more modern and um, and sell off uh, copies. But I don't think he would. He's more of an artisan. Well, Langton is was I remember using it years ago and getting good results. When yeah. I so yeah, I thought, well, still got some Langton pads. Yeah, but you can buy it in sheets, which is what I want. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Into the into the really so then I can cut it up to um. The size that I want, yeah. But they do not finish rough and uh, what do you call it? Hot press, fine, you know, the, the smooth, yeah, the uninitiated, yeah, yeah. I always forget which is which. I quite like a bit of surface on it, I like it a little bit rough, not too rough. Bit well, the two rivers I've found, the, the one I've been using, I keep getting halfway, well, not even at this stage through the picture and start whinging that it hasn't got any size on it. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Which, you saying about it. So say this, um, this is from the original factory or mill from the original mill. Well, I don't know. I'll just get it off of, you'll have to talk Jackson's. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get it off of there, exactly. off of them. That's why I think that the the sheets that they're selling are coming from his sort of secondary one. Uh, He's doing right. books at the moment. Well, that's watch it. You got Wookie Hole, haven't you? I don't yeah. know about Wookie Hole. They they do. Then you got Saint Cuff Spirits. Yeah. And you got the one in. The well, Wales in Somerset, down the road from there, down oh, the road right. from Wookie that does um, Saunders Waterford. Oh, really? There's a bit of a hotbed around there. Must be somewhere in the water. Must be. <laughs> <laughs> I know they used to have a mill at um, Wookie Hole, but I thought they'd shut that down. No, that's still going. That's St. Cuspert, isn't it? Oh, is it? I didn't yeah, know that. That's proper. That's supposed to be good paper. Yeah, yeah. When I went there years ago, they were selling it as some um, writing paper, not painting, just writing. But they've probably improved on that now. Right. Do, 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 do. This bit <laughs> over, run out of tissues. Hmm, yeah. This one needs smoothing out. 
you can see it's still paper's still damp so yeah i'm still afforded a bit of time to squish things around yeah mm. you always get a I mean, um, all I'm using is the same brush at the moment. I haven't used a rigger or anything like that. No. My um, I'm going to just wipe clean this green bit. I'm quite. I've got quite OCD with my um, <laughs> with my palette lately. Uh -huh. I want it to be clean. I think while this is um, still damp, I've got the, I'm always shouting on about uh, dune, sand. Yeah. I'm just going to whack a drop a bit of sand yeah. in me, on me elephants. That is such a useful colour, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. While it's all nice and squishy. <laughs> so I'll get a a blend of reality into the madness. Well add some more tones. This isn't um as I say you this, it looks fairly straightforward and a simple oh, you just go splish splash splash and <laughs> it all appears yeah it doesn't though <laughs> but to be honest there's a lot of decisions I'm making here yeah um that are gonna have to this elephant around here is hard yeah when yeah when you come to do it I was doing when I was sketching it. I think it was Sunday. I was, I, I was not trying to get ahead of myself, mm. and I was. I noticed then that it's the look on the thing. It's it, to get it to look like Mama Elephant was oh, yeah. to sketch it. Yeah. wasn't easy. No. Mm. Well, I that was just my thinking, but. You might, everyone's different, aren't they? You do mm -hmm. it and you think, oh, that, that was all right. Uh, that, that was, I'm it's sure. always the same with with, pit, with any picture though, isn't it? There's yeah. elements of it yeah. go really well. And you think, well, that was, that looks good. And, and then you get yeah. other bits. It's strange, you, think, you can get different days, can't you? Someday you can do it and it just falls just right. <laughs> you do the same sort of thing and it's just absolute rubbish that's that's yeah. the fascination of it really isn't it that um sometimes yeah. it just goes really easy and you think oh that was really fun absolutely <laughs> and other times it's the battle <laughs> what i would do in a minute a bit of clear water the moment they're all up in the air aren't they so yeah invariably with yours, you can let it dry first and then put your mm. base down afterwards. Yeah. Let's, stick, let's have a bit of fun and stick and go with the, the theory that sometimes with green or foliage if you add pink background to it especially christine should be doing it doing it if you add a a light pink background yeah under paint under color and then put the green on it supposed well, I'm all nice and wet. And then I've got green here that I haven't put 
I keep repeating it. I don't know what green it is. Oh, that one. Hmm. Because <laughs> all I've done is squirted Viridian and Hooker's green in the same sort of palette, trough, tray, blobby bit in me doodah. And I just sort of, I got, somebody told me that, well, I found out myself as well, that Viridian's blooming horrible. You can't use, or hooker's green in particular, you can't use it on its on its own. It's not designed to be used on its own. Oh, right. It's designed to be, as soon as you mix it, you watch a raw sienna. Yeah. Or a yellow. I've got some raw sienna here. The only colours of it's an earth colour, isn't it? It changes it straight away to a really nice, oh, yeah, a nice mm -hmm. foliage green colour, yeah. And then another chap that was talking said, if you put a pinky colour underneath your green, and it'll cut, you'll get a really nice, um. Tones of green. Well, I think the jewelry's out on that. Yeah, I thought it was gone grey. Where's the green? Yeah, I agree. Mm. Can't say I'm that impressed with that idea. No. But he was an oil painter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that might make a difference. Would you say it might work for Chris? Well, it'll, because I'm still soaking wet, so it doesn't matter. I can lift it off later. It's sort of and, and then always go back. I always, at some point, I'll always revert back to um, burnt umber and blue and yeah. introduce it into the, into the mixture anyway. Yeah. Because that's what I do. That's shadowy green. Mm. Well, it it adds a bit of upper detail. Well, yeah. p implies detail. It doesn't add it. Yeah. Into the mix. So yeah. Yeah, it's giving it texture. Mm. I'm just using a fan brush. And the blue and the, I'm just setting this, sticking a few bits in. But the the purple is work. The pink is working. It's just because mm -hmm. the elephants were soaking wet and the need to dry off. But it does work. It does give you a nice glow underneath the, the foliage. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not going to knock it really. Say it doesn't work because it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna concentrate a bit more on them there. Find a, a nice rainbow brush. There's one. A rainbow brush and a rigor. There you go. And see what we can do. Because the elephants are still soaking wet as far as I can see. Yeah. Um da -da bit burnt umber. Bit of raw sienna. Sorry, burnt sienna. You give me a nice yucky brown colour to play with. And start dropping them in. Everything's so wet. It's unbelievable. <laughs> That's on the air. All down to me, really, isn't it? For putting this, making the elephants so wet. So it's just blue, burnt umber, and just drop it in. Look for the dark bits and let it work its magic with the water. I've got a rigor here as well, so maybe all that um, all that sketching goes out the window now. Because 
Well, yeah, you've you've set like I said, you can trace as much as you like. At some point, you're going to have to concentrate on color and sh shade and tone and values and all kinds of stuff to to tease the your animal or your portrait or your center of information out of the out of the picture out of your sketch which is why I said with that in the early stage concentrate on the midtones which should be where you've drawn your lines so you at least retain some sense of shadow where the lines are. Does that make sense? <laughs> well, sort of. But where you're putting the the neutral tint early on is where the shadows on the picture are. So later on when you come to drop in some darks you, you've got you've got a guide you know where to put where to put the lines elephant eyes mm -hmm. In this picture, you can't actually, well, I can't decide where the define defining line of the eyes is. Anyway, mm. you can't actually say for sure that's a that's the elephant's eye there. All I've got is a intimation that that is around that rough area. Mm. But you get the gist. What you all we're doing is exactly the same. That's why I put on my note this morning. Everything's like painting a portrait, really. And building, building it up. Stand back, look at it, add some more. How long have you got? <laughs> <laughs> that's what i said it's a matter of starting off with the mid-tone values and then gradually building up some extra darks on top of that and hopefully your tusky friends will appear <laughs> if you get hard lines um put some clean water on and just soften it down a bit. So we want soft soft lines at this moment, at this period. And if it goes wrong, lift it off. But I do always say if you get a nice you'll get a period when you're painting on the brush and you think oh that's a nice tone that's a nice color just utilize as much of it as you can mm -hmm. it's got to be darker over there isn't it? but the other thing to do is walk away when I, what I mean from that by that is move away to another part of the painting, muck that up as well. <laughs> just have a go on. Just have a go on that. <clears throat> I've got a nice dark colour starts right up there, so I know I can trickle that down. This is a number 
Then I number six. Number four. Hmm. Is a number nothing. It's a Terry Harrison detail brush. I think it's a number four, somewhere like that. It's difficult to to say when they don't put a like, name on it. No, I'm trying to run them in. Just build it up. How long have we got? You just keep going. We've set the scene. While it's damp, we can just look for our... So really what we're doing now, or at this stage, it's drawing with the brush, isn't it, Carol? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mate, we're drawing. Yeah. Oh. We're just drawing. Um, dark light and shade with the brush. Mm. What do I have? I have. Oh, look, poor little thing. I'll add it in anyway. Lost his, lost his doodle. <laughs> I, it's funny, it must be, um, it was on the news this morning about elephants, and I was actually dreaming about elephants, you know, being abused and nicking their, their ivory, and feeling how horrible, how could people do that? They must be flipping hungry, starving to go out and chop mm. up an elephant just to keep these Vietnamese and Chinese perverts. Yeah. Sad. You think that it makes them mm. have better sex? <laughs> Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> The wrong people that that are being abused and killed it should be them right there's a issue there that, that i don't like in tissue get a stiff brush if you haven't got any these evergreen oil brushes are ideal for lifting stuff out I use them a lot. Can't remember the name of the artist that introduced me to them. But for lifting out colour. Well, I, I paint with them as well, but they're just a job. I've just lost the brush I was working with. Just lift it out and then put it back in, but of a different tone. Just didn't feel right. Don't mind that leg. Matter of fact, I might. Well, I've got a bit of the. I'm still using that same. Oh. I know why. <laughs> oh dear. I've just tried to um, make a, an area lighter with lifting it out. Of course, it's got masking fluid on it. This is, this is tusk. <laughs> so, this one's got a huge trunk thing, hasn't it? It's Big Daddy, isn't it? Mm. He's the boss. And it's got a real powerful eye shadow bit. Do you stand up when you paint or sit down? Sit down. I sit, yeah, I sit down. Perhaps yeah. that's never go wrong, is it? <laughs> I stand up a lot of the time. Especially when I'm 
it must be an eyesight maybe so if you stand back you can get a better of um feel for, for the brush you don't need to if you sit down close then your tendency is you constant you're doing this sort of putting lots of detail in but if you stand mm. up and look at the picture from a wider angle you'll see you look at your painting darks and shadows lights and tones because it forces you to do that because you can't you can look you can look from the behind and say right there's a there's a shadowy bit in there that's a, like a little triangle so you you make that triangle you just paint a a triangle there and there's a dark bit in there so you, you can do that rather than getting too too nitty gritty i think it does go in what you know up to there it does now it's a funny shade of i think i'm just going to blur it out because it must have his body over there. It's the annoying thing about working from a reference picture, isn't it? That's not yours. There's bits of it that you can't, <laughs> that you have to make up. You can't see them. Mm. It's drying out nice. But you get that all the time with these watercolour, mm. with these um, paintings on a Tuesday. By the end of sort of lunch, by lunchtime they look right. they're okay and then following morning I look and it's like wow pictures dried because they're watercolour so it's dried back and there's other bits have turned up that I didn't paint or I didn't think I did more often than not it's an improvement <laughs> I'm happier mm. with it so the, the one this is the one this one back here there's something be careful with that with that eye over there there's something about it that that demands it belongs in, in a certain place i don't know what it is i can't put my hand i can't Put my hand up. I can't say what it is. A bit more of that sand. I think I'm painting the right elephant. Well, yeah. this is, yeah. to start with in my opinion, That's one of the hard, hardier exercises we'll, we've done up to now. I don't think this is a new one. Yes, so it's a brand. It's you're going to have one of the ones we so have to work up. It's proper little bit of homework. This is. It's got some tight spots in it. So Definite. Yeah. Definite. Yeah. Going to have to do some work on it. Yeah, it's a lot freer than it was. And but the reward, of course, is that it is Still. a job. Yeah. You're going to learn a lot. Even that all. Mm. <laughs> Meet Harry Carey. Yes. Mm. Bit of both. Mm. My dad's back from hospital, apparently. Oh, that's good. He's over the COVID, is he? <laughs> oh, you can make it up, could you? <laughs> he goes to hospital to have his prostate dude off because he was in agony and all the rest of it. While he's in they couldn't really do it because he has to go to another hospital where they specialise in it, um, but they ain't got no appointments, so they send him home. He goes home with COVID that he's mm -hmm. caught from the hospital. Three days later, they have to pack him off in the back in an ambulance and take him back to the same hospital for mm -hmm. treatment oh, for COVID, and he's in, still in agony from the other thing that he went in in the first place for so they've had to sort of 
help him out with that at the same time. And they've obviously got onto the the hospital that specialises in it. And they said, oh, yeah, right, bring him in. So he's they've transferred him to that hospital. <laughs> Meantime, while he's back in, while he was in the first hospital waiting <laughs> to get transferred, he catches MRSI. Oh, no. So now they're thinking, oh, we don't know if we can send him there. Well, they were, they're thinking, ooh. Anyway, they eventually got him there after a few days. Um, and as far as I know, mum texted me yesterday that he, they sent him, he managed, he's back home. So she's relieved. Mm. What? Well, you couldn't make that up. It's ridiculous. Go in with one thing and come out with half a three. <laughs> a load of it. Oh, yeah. not good, is it? No, not impressive. Well, it's not their fault. It's just it's all these foreigners come over there bringing their diseases here. Yeah, that's true. Nah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what they said in, in the past. Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's true. Well, it is. There is an element of truth in it. Yeah. Air travel and everything spreads, doesn't it? Mm. Who was it? I think it was... Joyce uh, Margaret Hasted, wasn't it? Or one of them, they went off, one of the artists, they went off to some foreign thing for a break. Of course, oh, I got COVID, caught it on the plane. Mm. There's a surprise. There's still a lot of COVID around, isn't there? There's more now than there has been for ages. Yeah, yeah. I was looking this morning, it's like, If I was having to visit it, I'd be thinking Christchurch. That's a no, no, no go zone. Yeah, yeah. it's like, and the government figures are lies anyway. The what you know, the if you go to the Zoe people and look at their their figures, it's like much higher than the, Isn't, the yeah. government ones because they don't want you to, they don't want to tell you what's real. Anyway, whatever is ever. What can he do about it? Uh, Stay at home. But even that ain't safe. I think Melanie's just gone to her dad's. That's the first day for a couple of weeks. Well, three, four weeks, I think. Because mm. we've all had um, head cold, sore throat. I don't know, maybe it's... COVID. I know. I tested James. He didn't have it, and he seemed to have the same lurgy that, well, that he'd given to me. Um, my throat was for the last three weeks has been like, cool. Swallow it like it's got a razor blade in the back of it when I'm trying to swallow. That horrible taste, yeah. like you've got, you can't get it away. Can you? Yeah. That was in there. So, did you know what? I dare say it, but I'm quite pleased with this picture. Oh, it looks really nice. Yeah. I like it. I like it with all the colours in. Well, I mean, we can spend, as I say, the it's how long do you spend, or how many, how much time do you want to spend putting bits of detail in? I've got, I've grabbed them grab the rigger now and teasing out some extra I don't want to photograph you know spend um, weeks and hours dithering around with an elephant's doodles and I'm never going to paint a botanical David Attenborough Elephant painting, anyway. No. Nor do I want it. I like elephants, but not that much. <laughs> no, they look very good. Well, you're so kind, Dan. <laughs> well, they do. I, I like I like that sort of um, abstract, almost feel to it. Well. There's only 
so many, so much time that I've got. Mm. Uh, just the thing about it is this picture anyway there's no you haven't got to worry about the feet because they're all in they're all stood in um, in the long grass aren't they so we can yeah it makes it easier The irony of it is I probably would have done that to make it easier for myself anyway. <laughs> but the foreground, we need to put a few bits in. If this was a an art club, you know, art club demo, I'd be quite pleased with this. Because it's show, there's a lot of... Um, Tips and tricks, well, tips and tricks, but a lot of basic, this, you need to do it this way, you know, arguments in there, put in your, the way you compose it, the way you work on it, flick in some foliage, bits of darks here and there, but not a whole load, just a couple to draw the eye in don't need too many let it dry and come back tomorrow and you'll go oh that's nice or you'll go that needs this that needs this that elephant's too dark but i did there is a line going down through where i was doing the messing about yesterday and there's a couple of places i you know if there's no point in me doing this if, if i don't at least learn or pick some information out myself because no one knows it all well are you there Gordon <laughs> you just walked away Dave uh, I've just come back as well sorry <laughs> I have to go. I'm, still here. I'm sat here with the dog oh that's good then I'm back I really, I really like that I think that's lovely I'm impressed Dave well, the um, the next. Well, consider I start the, the this elephant at the back is a pain in the neck. Oh, what, what, what happens when you? Well, when you do yours, be warned. This one needs sorting out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. really no, be warned. Be be <laughs> cautious with him to get the the look. It's um, the other thing, and I think at some point you'll have to. Well, what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to leave them alone and come back um, uh, later tomorrow or whatever, and decide where, and just have a little double check on the eyes. Because they're not easy. Too much paint on them. It's dried off now, see? And we've got... I'll put, I'll put the hair dryer on it a minute. Just to dry it off. And I, I use some... Uh, what's this stuff? Bubble wrap. Mm -hmm. On the background yesterday as well. And there's a couple of little... Oh yeah, I can see those now. There's yeah. a couple of little bits in there. Well... I could just squish them around and put some. Maybe You've been using bubble wrap, have you? I did. I, I oh. put a book on it just to see if I could get a some random. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's using bubble wrap. Bubble dude, wrap. I haven't used the salt lately, have you? No, I haven't. I've been really good with that, am I? Mm. I'm just going to dry this off a bit. I like that red bit coming down in the sky. Oh, that looks really good. Or are you going to change that? <laughs> oh, I think he's doing it. Well, I don't know what he's doing. He's drying it as it is, and he's yeah. filled in the bits. 
I think. One of the things that you can do, oh, what I mentioned just now, was these, um, these, this one's called flash color, liquid chalk markers. And you can always, if you've got um, some highlights that you want to put in, you can use these. On, And the beauty of this stuff is that you can soften it down with some water. So, and they do dry out, but you just dip them in your water and they, they rehydrate. You can just paint in some highlights here and there. Again, you might have started off with a bit of tracing, but you ain't going to end up with it because you're going to have to draw <laughs> some highlights back in. And I haven't yeah. added the tusks in yet. Big mama, big fat mama back here. We can't use the fat word. Sorry. Large lady back here. She can have a little bit. I'll show you in a minute what I mean. Um, big daddy back here and then that line I was going to use the white stuff on it might do it on there as well just smooth it out because there's a line that was part of the um, my messing about and there's a white it's a good, it's a good exercise actually because it um next time you do it you it makes you more aware of where the highlights are on the on the thing and if you if you do it like this and you're not happy with it you at least where you've put the the white marker the chalk see it fade it does fade back a bit um It'll point to areas where you need to lift off. So when it's bone dry the next day, you can just go back and you know more or less the area that you need to to lift off with some clean water. How clever am I? Yeah. So you get a, you get a double yeah. you get a double whammy because you're putting it on now, I'm mean, just touching it really. Putting where you think there's some some highlights, some light parts on the elephant are. And if you tomorrow you think, oh, mm, all you got to do is get a some clean water and a stiff brush and and lift those areas out, because those are the areas that need charging up with some lighter because all I'm doing is drawing in the highlights so if tomorrow or later on I think it needs extra work then all I do where is it gone let's get my I was going to say oh, really nice brushes every week Every Tuesday morning for us, sit down us. I go through my brushes and think, well, it's, they're all in an order. Da -de -da -de -da. Thin, da -da to thick. And the weirdest thing that happens between then and there, they're all going to end up going all over the place. But look, <laughs> what I was saying is, if, if you get a stiff brush tomorrow, um, and you, you can look at an area and just lift it off. 
because where I've put the these highlights, clean water, I haven't got clean water. <laughs> where I put the highlight over these mark pens is the area that I want to the painting to be higher, lighter. Mm -hmm. So you can is it works better when it's dry because the paper's still a bit distressed, but you see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I can I can lift that off. And that's and that stuff as a, there's a few blobby bits on this one. Um clean water and you can just it will you can move it around to give you a nice tonal blend. You can just blend it so that it's not so so obvious. Clean water. So just blend it and away you go. Mm -hmm. I think I've got a bit of pink in this brush, but I don't care. I do. I do really, but I do. I'm just saying that. <laughs> that bit there could do with lifting out because it's hiding his leg. But we'll have to sort that out with a bit of very doodle, but it's a bit of yellow left in the palette from earlier. So I'll just spread the word there. A little bit of blue, dark. Yeah, that'll do. Well, sort of. The big solid day. Yes, it was on there. Look at that elephant sat, stood right in a flipping load of. Bracken, Cubby <laughs> boy, but yeah, so it's not far off where I want to be. The only thing I would say is that um, <laughs> my brush had a bit of pink on it, <laughs> the one I was doing all that scrubbing with. So I've left some pinky bits there. Mm -hmm. That won't hurt. It's the one thing about these. Um, evergreen oil brushes they really don't um clean very well you think you normally just push it in the in the in the water and lift it out and you think the brush is clean with this stuff mm. it, it, the hairs and the, the bristles seem to retain a bit of the paint longer, so you've got to scrub it even harder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Over to you, lot. You can have a go now. Mm -hmm. I'll tidy it up later uh, when it's dry, but the basis is there. Well, maybe or not. I said that last week with that portrait of the lady, and I haven't touched it at all. I just, I just keep looking at it, thinking, what do I do with it? It looks all right from here. Yeah, it looks nice. I like all the colours. Yeah. Yeah. I like the. Mind you, make it look so easy. <laughs> so say, there's a, an annoying line going down through there, which. I'll probably be up. I'll got. I'll lift off tomorrow when it's all dried off. There's the flat one. I use the. Mm. It's an evergreen. Rosemary and Co. Evergreen short flat number six. I've got a, a flat one number six and a number five round one. And they're they're very good for, because they got they're quite stiff. They're not rock hard, but they, they've got a stiffness about them that you can clean water and just tease bits out the next day. But it works better when, when I was about repeating myself all the time, it works better when the paint is, when the paper's really dry, like tomorrow. And then you can start lifting bits off and highlights, just adding little bits of highlights here and there. But using the... Um, Short marker, 
gives you that pointer so you can either leave it or or it points to the fact to the area where you need to lift out it's annoying that um maybe it's just the you know it's, it's lifted off as it's drying there's a sort of pinkness coming which i don't want <laughs> How annoying never mind let's say if you do it too much while the paper's soaking wet, chances are <laughs> you'll plug a hole in it. That's it. This side needs to be a bit darker. Just use the top of that. I'm just doing that, <laughs> pushing it up. Because they're stiff. The hairs on this brush are really bristly. I can get away with it. I don't want to do it both sides. I've decided that this bit sort of bit uphill, just using up old paint. You know, bits of paint that in there just, mm. just it's sort of dry, and I can just push it up. Whatever. Hello there. Give me my elephant back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not bad. Arrows mm. work. I can live with that. Dumbo the elephant. Mm -hmm. I'm all alone. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> oh, I'm still there. Yeah, I'm here. No, I meant um, oh. James of. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> They've gone to see Grandad. Oh, that's not too bad for an hour. And I haven't focused too much. On the background and mucking about. Or in there. Yeah, that was an art demo. You'd be well chuffed because you're thinking that's a lot of work there in one in just a short time. Yeah. Mm. You're a, a sort of an art club. But um, like I say, we've always got our um, later on to tidy up. You can use a couple of watercolour pencils and add a few highlights here and there, or some darks more than likely. Makes it look really nice. Mm. We are recording, so I'm relaxed now. <laughs> Because it's always a way, I, well, it's always a niggle in the back of my mind that I spent quite a lot of time putting a lot of effort into something and then discovering that I, oh, I forgot something actually. Discovering that uh, I hadn't recorded it. Um, oh, yeah. Did it all over again on Wednesday morning or something. Just a sec. well he's got some he's got one there so I'll have to grab a bit of A little bit of white here and there. Can't remember if this, yeah, he does have a little bit. A little bit of trunk, then not he? Same with this one here. Very subtle. Mm. Oh no, that's horse. Sorry. <laughs> I have to something else to tidy up. Yeah. 
It's the lactose, I think. Yeah. 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 You didn't have any tusks. Yeah, you just want it. Just put a bit of white on them to tighten them up. I don't. Don't do it, I'll forget. But um, they'll need a bit of highlighting. Mm. Yeah, right, you'll go next. All right. So what was it just three basic colours on the background you splashed on first? Uh, red, blue and green. I'll put a video, I'll tag it on the end of this one. Right. It'll be at the end. I'll, I'll uh, a little extra. And I, yeah. did, I did it yesterday. But I thought I won't do it today, otherwise it'll make things much longer and it won't dry anyway. So yeah. okay. let's do that. Splish splash, missing about the day before one one thing i will say one tip is don't scratch it i know i've i said it before use a a scalp um scalpel palette knife or the edge of a credit card don't do it if you do do it make sure that their lines are very very fine because the chances are they'll dry with a hard line like it has in the left hand corner of that It'll go down like that, and it, it'll go right in into a spot where you don't want it, and, mm. and be hard to um, hide or get rid of. I think just blowing using cling film is fine, but the thing about that, you only get one chance. Mm. You put it down, then take it off, and then leave it. Don't go back over. If you do it, it, you just end up with a muddy ring of cling film. Unless you use another clean piece, but mm. don't use the same piece down. That don't work. But yeah, what you could, uh, you can use any shapes really. Um, I don't know. There's some things that you get like art um, pads, aren't there? The, painting brushes and then they've got like funny square shapes on them and stuff they're they can i think it i think we could you just got to use your imagination really and sort of look around and think well that will soak up a bit of water and leave mm. a, a design a shape whatever because there are things that you can get that make squares you know if you you put the cling film down you get lots of little round things but equally, if you see one that's you got but square bubble wrap with squares, do that because that'll give you like lots of squares patterns. Mm. Right. But you want it nice and wet so that they dry <coughs> away. You don't want dead squares. It looks a bit daft, doesn't it? Right. Interesting. Here's an interesting <laughs> thing to find a just find a few knickknacks right i've kept that piece of bubble wrap i'll use that again but i won't i'll be a bit more careful next time mm. cling film is okay but you have to use it let it go dry and then take it away don't you otherwise it just melts all back into normal i don't know but then that's all part of the fun isn't it is having it mm. creating that sort of randomness but it's gonna muck it you know, make make it unrepeatable, really, that you can never. It's a one off thing, isn't it? Mm, right. See what we can come up with. Beautiful <laughs> sunny day. Yes. We love to try pink elephants. Mm. Yeah, mine was. I was getting a bit pinky on mine. <laughs> yeah, I quite like it. <laughs> well, I think doing the. Um, the splish splash on the background before in that mm. quite, if you get it right it could look quite works quite well because you those sort of um african countries it, the light is very mm. bright isn't it compared to us it's it's not a cool light it's a warm light isn't it so yellow light red and well crimson would it look all right with like when we do the pastel and we scrape it off and then wet it? Would that go quite nice? Well, that's your homework then. Right. That's your task. <laughs> I'll try. 
<laughs> as long as I don't do it too bright. <laughs> yeah, you just need to scalpel, don't you? And then yeah, scalpel it on and then um, spray it. Spray it and hope for the best. And wish it around. Yeah, yeah it'd be brilliant. Have a go. Strong yeah, colours as well. Great fun. Mm, I suppose you could paint with that, couldn't you? As well, I have little pots of red, green, pink. Yeah, oh, mm. I'd have a think about that. I'll probably muck it all up. <laughs> no. <coughs> no, you won't. Good for yeah, that. Sounds good. Good bit of spontaneity. Have, have a go over the week. Yeah. Well, it's a good subject, but it's a tough one. And if you, if you, um, if you, if it's too much, then just do the the baby and the mum at the front or something like that. That look quite nice. Mm. Just treat it. Because it's, I mean, I did spend qu quite a Sunday afternoon sketching the balloon things, mm. using the grid as well, which is the best way to do it, really. The beauty of using a grid is um, everyone's eye and the way they see it is different. The way you see the image related to the grid is different to everyone else's. And you never draw the grid perfectly square. Mm. So the chances are when you come to draw the elephant, it will have uh, not a yeah. one, but it won't be an identical shape. And then when you <coughs> when I trace it, well, use the trace down and sketch around it so that it, the outline shows up on the actual paper. Mm. Invariably, I spend a good 10, 15 minutes redoing it and checking it. So it end up being my perception of how it should be rather than the photograph anyway. Mm. So, hmm. Right. Okie dokie then. <laughs> yeah. I'll have a go at that. Oh. Want to go and get some lunch? Yeah, I'm yeah. starving here. Yeah. Well, you've got to get your own today, have you? As um, Melanie's out. I always do. I'm, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Heaven forbid. <laughs> I wouldn't let her loose with one of my sandwiches. Oh. <laughs> no, she'll laugh at that. <laughs> I actually got bread today. Oh, wow. Ran out. Bread and cheese and pickle. <laughs> one thing I've stopped eating, I've thrown it all away. Branston pickle. Oh. Bloody awful stuff. Oh, do you not like it? It's full of salt. It is so oh. salty, it's unbelievable. Really? I don't know if they've changed the recipe or what, or it's just me that's changed. But we had, I've been, I eat it for years. Mm. Cream crackers and bit brands and a chew. I taste it, I thought, do you know what? This is awful. <laughs> and once I've got it, I've it it's, like, it. it's like, and when you read the ingredients, Mel said it's got, I don't know what it was, something like six grams of salt per mm. doodle, yeah. which is like a bucket. Yeah. You're really be, all you're eating really is fruit flavoured salt. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Really... That's and I was saying, good, nobody, I don't know, I'll have Branson Pickle ringing me up saying, look, can you please? Oh, yeah, you've got to be careful what you're saying. <laughs> Uh, it's horrible stuff. Other pickles are available, of course. Yeah, they are, I think we're on Asda now because <laughs> that only had one gram of salt or whatever it was, you know. Oh, right. Oh, gosh. It's a pain, need... isn't it, when you've got to keep checking all the labels if you want to yeah. really cut down? Well, I, I, <clears> do, <throat> I, I, I did it by taste. I just tasted it and I. At the end, I put it on with spoon and put it some on on each cracker, a little half teaspoon on each cracker. Put it on, and then I lick the spit. Then what? Put the spoon and clean it off the, before I put it in the washing up bowl. And that's when I thought, "Hang on, this is oh." Well, probably when you're eating it with something else, you wouldn't notice it, would you? Mm. Well, that's what they hope, isn't it? That's true. Mm. Yeah, true. Well, salt is a preservative anyway, isn't it, for them? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's a nightmare, isn't it? Salt in... And sugar. 
savoury foods it's salt and sweet foods it's flipping sugar yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I am eating yogurt for years because i they said they were putting like each yogurt has got about two teaspoons of salt uh sugar in the bottom and i thought yeah. no no i don't want that no that's true mm. anyway these to their own yeah but do you remember years ago when yogurt first came out it tasted horrible because it hadn't got anything in it, had it? Yeah, you're right. I didn't used to like yogurt. No, no. Uh, I don't eat much of it anyway. But... I'm not. Well, well, if you listen to everything, nothing's good for you, is it? Really? Well, that's the trouble. You starve anyway. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> A little of what you fancy. Does you good. Yeah. I don't like chocolate anymore. No. Funny, mm -hmm. uh, I haven't eaten it for a, a while. Mel bought a bar the other day of, um, what was it? I don't know. Dark chocolate. Yeah. I, I threw it off it away. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm not a chocolate lover anyway. No. I... Well, I'm all right till I start. And then <laughs> our son in law bought us a tin of. Quality Street. Oh, I've yeah. left it in the cupboard for weeks and weeks, and kids said, "Oh, let's have a chocolate." Oh, and I have to keep going there until it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't let the whole tin. I've been sharing it out, but yeah, I keep yeah, thinking, sure. "Oh, yeah, sort of one for you, one for me, two yeah. for you, two <laughs> for me." <laughs> um, that's it. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Now and again doesn't hurt, I suppose, does oh, it? Oh, no. You've got to have a treat mm. sometimes. But chocolate is so addictive, isn't it? Once you've had one bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that with cake. I do really like cake, so I don't, I don't buy it now or cook it. Got I just got, I've just got to uh, keep eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And why well, not cake? stop oven. using the oven, so I haven't got any cake. No, well, I think you can cook them in the air fryers, can't you? She does so, do, yeah, she has done a few. Do they no, taste I, right or not? Yeah, lovely. I just, she's just neglected me. Oh, shame. <laughs> I'm a cake free zone. Oh. <laughs> You ought to have some spare in the freezer and take a bit. I like of... James is saying they might not taste as good, but the the rubbish you get out of Sainsbury's and what have you is you can buy that cheaper than you can make it. So yeah. it's like I'm stuck yeah. eating bought Swiss roll or something. Oh, I like Lidl's um, muffins. They're nice, the chocolate ones, and they put all gooey stuff in the middle. I tell a lie. I'm lying. I have got a cake today. It's um, a Waitrose almond croissant. Oh, very nice. Oh, I like them. Yeah. Yeah, That's they're nice. all right. All the butter in them. Ah, thanks. Yeah, and salt, sugar. <laughs> I have to have a lie down later. Oh, dear. I'll go for a run with the dog. Oh, <sighs> Yeah, well, he should be keeping you fit, going out for walks. I'm a good, well, I'm a, I'm a good Samaritan. I, I do all the litter picking around the, the park. Oh dear. It's really clean over there, touch wood. And I, have to, oh. I get around there and I think, like, you know why? Because I go around picking it all up. Oh. Well done. This morning I got the worst thing are these vape things. People, they're like big chunky pieces of plastic. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like years ago, you'd have a fag and flick it, and uh, there's a dog in. Now yeah. they have these vape things and they throw them away. Oh, do they? And it's a solid piece of plastic. It's like a bit, it's like a four inch chunk of Lego. Really? Oh, oh. I've never seen one. Yeah. I see. I, I've picked up quite a few of those lately. Well, that's starting to be the latest. Um, you still, there's still a. It's a guy goes around the oh, park, probably early late evening, with a can of 
Carlsberg Lager mm. he always throws that I think he's doing it in different places just to trick me now <laughs> but he's obviously got Probably. a problem keep you on your toes cool you won't believe I've got um what was I picked out of the hedge the other day? It was a piece of metal, a metal pole, about two, three inches, yeah, about a two and a half inch pole. And it was sectioned, so it was two bits stuck together. And it's a little like a goalpost or something like that. Yeah. Someone's thrown in there. I've got that out the front to take down the tip. <laughs> um, yesterday, I rang the, well, I, I emailed the councillor, the ward councillor, because... There was, um, for days, well, there was a couple of days I thought, oh, look, there's those blooming people that do personal training, you know, they go out in the park and they'll they tie a rope around a tree and hang from it and all this. And I thought, oh, there's a blue rope and a big long pole there. And I suddenly twigged what it was two days later. They, they string, they've got a big, some posts and a string all around the cricket pitch. <laughs> and somebody pulled up one of the posts and nicked the string and top wrapped it all around this blooming oak tree. Oh, great. So I had to chat with the councillor about, oh, it's been hectic. The councillor of that yesterday, I texted her, uh, emailed her first thing in the morning, take a picture. So the little, they've been up to it again. But fair play, the cricket club or the BPC, the form of council they came around they were there in the afternoon when i was uh walking the dog and they'd fixed it that's good last weekend or last yeah last weekend um a car had come either reversed or and it, anyway it, it hit a, a road a traffic sign a warning one a triangle one bent that and of course rearranged its bumper and left a load of um, the bumper and bits of it on the side of the road which is quite close to the kiddies play area and I thought that was bad mm. so I took some photos of that and emailed them to the ward councillor but at the same time there's an app you got called um, it's to do with fly tipping it's, you, and you can take pictures and there and do dar it and fill it in and I'll send a, a, a details and a do to the relevant council. Mm. So that that was good because that went the next the same day as well. Yeah, very yeah. efficient over your way. Yeah. Well, no, because I send them when I send when it's things like that that are that form a danger to the public to the general public. Yeah. I always write um, a crypt, well, a, an acerbic cryptic statement saying that the council, in case if someone does get hurt mm. through it, the council will be liable. That's true. Yeah, that's true. And it so happens that it, that liability falls on the ward councillor as well. Oh, does it? Mm. Yeah, they, they are personally responsible for the the things around in their in their ward. Yeah. No. So Why do they jump to attention then. Mm. Mentioned that if you, you do it politely, I mention yeah. that, then, and I I usually say I appreciate you're busy, blah blah blah, but I need to make this as a record. That re mm. my email and my image forms a record with dated and timed mm. to show that in the case if there was a legal action that a by my sending that they now are aware of it yeah so it's on their books to go there and b obviously highlights the fact that they are liable from that point the point that i send a, a report that my they that thing is their desk from that date and that time they are now liable legally oh, right. to prosecution yeah if someone gets hurt well not many people realize that that's the situation no i didn't councils either. don't like getting um they've got big legal departments and it costs a lot of money 
mm. both in admin and time and everything to reply to people's that get hurt and one thing or another it just snowballs someone falls over um a bad paving stone and it can create besides the person getting hurt that's only the tip of the iceberg mm. from that mm. point on the council have got a heck of a legal issue mm. um besides actually fixing it mm. so have to go now Dave all right yeah. <laughs> so I'll see you next week yeah nice to yeah. see you Carol yeah and you take care good Thank painting you. yeah bye bye, bye. cheers on. guys